boys and girls of grade 5 welcome to our mathematics class I am Miss Yelita Brown Phillips today we will be focusing on writing fractions in words we do know that fractions express numbers that are a part of a whole they are written numerically but they can also be written in words. When writing fractions, we spell out the numbers with a dash between the two numerical elements. For example, five eighths. When writing five eighths, we spell out the number five. You have a dash and then you spell out the number eight. Fractions can be large or small, and the number of fractions are infinite. They go on to infinity. But if you follow some basic procedures or steps, you can write any fraction in words. Fractions consist of two numbers separated by a slash, top and bottom. The number that appears above is the numerator, which expresses the number of parts, while the bottom number, the denominator, defines the number of parts the whole is divided into. For example, if you order a pizza and you cut it into 10 equal parts, and you put three of those slices on a plate, you have three tenths of the pizza to eat. The numerator of this fraction is three and the denominator is 10. To express the fraction in words, you spell out the numerator, then add a dash, then you spell out the denominator. In word form, the fraction 3 tenths would be spelled out as 3, the numeral 3 written in words, your dash, and the word tenths representing tenths. So boys and girls, we will move on now. And once you follow these simple steps, you will be able to write your fractions in words correctly. The first step, you write the numerator of a fraction spelled out in words exactly as it appears as a numeral. So if it is four fifths, you write the four spelled out as a numeral, F-O-U-R. If it's six tenths, you write the six spelled out as a numeral. Then the next step, you write the fraction's denominator as you would write ordinals. Ordinals or the rankings of a race or a contest, as you would say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. However, when writing these denominators as ordinals, they must be pluralized. Example, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, tenths. So let's look at this fraction. Three ninths, written in word. Three, the numeral. Ninth, the ordinal, but in the plural. Now, like everything else, there's an exception to every rule. The exception to this 
is when the denominator equals 2. For example, look at the fraction half. You would never write it as one second. It sounds weird, right? Yes, instead, we would express that fraction as one half. Another important point to note is that you can write a fraction with a denominator of four in different ways. The first way, you can write it as fourths, F-O-U-R-T-H-S, or you can write it as quarters. Q-U-A-R-T-E-R-S. Now, although the term fourths is slightly more common, it is also acceptable for us to write quarters. So if you write quarters, there is nothing wrong with that. It's the same as fourths. For example, we can express three-fourths correctly either as three-fourths, or three quarters. Now here are a few examples. Look at the table. We have the numerical fraction, we have the diagrammatical representation, and we have the worded fraction. The first fraction we have there is half. You notice there, in the diagrammatical representation, you have a whole cut into two parts. And the worded fraction is one half. The next example, one fourth. Look at the diagrammatical representation. The whole is cut into four parts or it is divided into four parts. Your worded fraction can be one fourths or one quarter. Our final example is one fifth. Our diagrammatical representation, you have a whole divided into five parts. Your worded fraction, one fifths. Boys and girls, I hope that you would have learned quite a lot today. Now for the problem of the day. I know you are excellent problem solvers and you know we cannot end this lesson without you solving a problem for me. Narish had a large pizza with 10 slices. He gave four slices to his brother. Write in words, the fraction of pizza Narish has left. Narish had a large pizza with 10 slices. He gave four slices to his brother. Write in words the fraction of the pizza Narish has left. Let me see how quickly you can solve that, my little problem solvers. Do you have six tenths, boys and girls? 
Yes, that's absolutely correct. But you cannot have six tenths written numerically because the instruction said, write in words the fraction of pizza Narish has left. So you're supposed to have it spelled out. S I X dash T E N T H S. Do you have that, boys and girls? Excellent. I am very, very proud of you, boys and girls. You are great problem solvers. So, boys and girls, that has brought us to the end of today's lesson. Now it's time for us to part and go our separate ways. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.